Well, hello, Jana. Welcome to my studio. This is wonderful. So glad you could come by. And this is the reception area. And you can see we're up here in the foothills. And this artwork was exhibited at the Grand Palais in Paris. And that was quite a thrilling moment for me. So this is where I work and where I teach. And when there are several students, I can accommodate up to 18 people. So there are more tables that can be set up. And then this area is for large pieces of art. And then I can store papers and such in, in these uh, pull-out drawers. And then here are smaller pieces of art, and they're all categorized as to the subject. And then you can see I've got many books on art, and so the studio is overflowing with books. This is a, um, I do the artwork for the San Francisco Symphony, and this was the Year of the Monkey. And this was a fun project to do. That was the monkey face. It was real cute. And we just went and got another bookcase because the art books were overflowing. This table is, uh, when I do have a class here, it's covered with felt. And uh, I can accommodate four people at that table. And then, of course, you see more art books. And above it is a Sibuchrome print of one of my original paintings. So uh, you can no longer do Sibuchrome uh, prints in this country. Now it's uh, G. Clay that uh, does pretty much the same thing. And then over here, I have uh, pull-out files where I store a lot of paper. And so everyone needs, uh, artists especially, need a lot of space for materials. And then on the counter here are several brood or side seals. And these are used on paintings. And when you go to a museum and you see a lot of uh, seals on the painting, it helps uh, the curator to determine the provenance of the work. And many times if the emperor owned a painting and he loved it, he would put his chop right in the center of the painting. And that would be like our writing our name graffiti style in the middle of a Monet. So it's a completely different mindset. And then all these mood seals become part of the painting and help to tell the story of the painting. And so here are some of my collection. We've got more brushes over here. And then I've got a lot of drawers, which are probably in a state of uh, disarray. Yes, they are. Where <laughs> you can see all my lessons for the students are kept in these file drawers. And as you can see, there are several of them. And let me see what else I can show you. Then I keep art materials in that cabinet. And then we have a sink and refrigerator. And we also have a facility, <laughs> which, we, uh, which you need to have in a studio. This particular piece of calligraphy was done in China. And uh, we led an art tour to China this past year, and I called it the journey of the imagination. So I wanted this artist to write that on a scroll. And he said, I'll do even better than that. I'll write your 2,000-year-old poem that speaks about taking a journey, and along the way, you have many wonderful things that happen. And that's exactly the way it was. So I'm very, I just love this. and. We were so inspired by it that I now have a master calligrapher, uh, Shantian Tom Chow, who comes to my studio twice a month, and he teaches everyone calligraphy. So uh, we're studying not only Chinese brush painting, but also calligraphy. And just so you know, Chinese brush painting uh, was taken to Japan by the Buddhist monks. And so it's basically the same. The um, Japanese developed sumi painting, which is really saying ink painting. So their style is a little bit um, uh, pure, perhaps a little bit more minimalistic, maybe, than the Chinese. But basically, it's the same. You use the same materials. OK, and then this is where I work. This is my table. And I had this table made. It's a copy of a 17 century scholar's table. So I'm 
really, um, I just love working at it. And you can see my collection of brushes. These are brushes that I got in China, and then brushes that I've collected through the years. And then over here, <laughs> you can see there's more brushes. An artist never has enough brushes or materials. So this is my studio, this is where I work, and I love that you came by to see me. I hope you'll come by another time and see a class in action.